Hello everyone. As I had mentioned in the previous video, where we had uh, seen how to divide these numbers with uh, respective one digit or two digit divisors and end up with a answer in decimal number. I had mentioned that I will be solving these two examples in the next video. So here I am, which where I will be solving this num uh, example where there it is a four digit number divided by a two digit number and another example where we have a five digit number divided by another different two digit number. Both the two digit numbers are fairly large. So we uh, nobody is expected to buy hard the table of these numbers uh, easily. So let's have a look of how we can solve this. Okay, so as we know, whenever we have a two digit number where we are not very accustomed to the table of those that uh, number, we need to be ready with two times that number and five times that number. So here the divisor is 68. So two times 68 will calculate and it comes to 136. Okay, so I'll write down 136 here. And then five times 68 is 340. So I'll write down 340 here. So I, I know one times 68, two times 68 and five times 68 in front of me. And then I, I'll start uh, dividing the number. So as usual, we'll start with the div uh, dividend that is uh, 6528 and it will end up at, at this unit's place. Okay, so it's since it's a four digit number, it will start from this thousands place. So six, five two eight then we'll start with the first two digit number that we have in front of us it is 65 65 is smaller than the divisor divisor is 68 so we cannot do anything uh, right now on this rod so we'll move to the next rod which is a tens place rod now we have the number 652 in front of us from this 652 we can subtract 5 times 68 that is 340 since we are on the tens place rod of the, the question number that is uh, the dividend will take the will be uh, on the answer rod also will consider the tens place rod which is the second rod so on this rod i'll start with 5 times 68 so i'll take 5 here okay i'll take 5 here and then i'll subtract 340 from this 652 so to subtract 340 i'll do plus 2 minus 5 on this rod on here on the this rod it will be plus one minus five so four is done and zero on this rod so i've done 340 subtraction now st we st are still remaining uh, we still have 312 in front of us so from this 312 we can still subtract two times 68 which is 136 so two times 68 so i'll add two on this uh, answer rod so two times and then subtract 136 from this 312 so 100 and for subtracting 3 on this rod I'll do plus 7 minus 10 and on this rod for subtracting 6 I'll do plus 4 so plus 4 is this and minus 10 okay I subtracted 136 we still have on the same rod we still have 176 so we can subtract another 136 that is 2 times 68 from this rod so I'll add again 2 on the answer rod same rod remember we haven't moved further ahead from this uh, tens place rod yet so we'll keep adding on the tens place of the answer rod so i added two on the tens place of the answer rod and then subtract 136 from this so for subtracting 136 i'll do one here for subtracting three on this rod it will be plus two minus five and six will be direct okay now what we have remaining with just 40 here which is smaller than our divisor hence we'll move to the next rod so coming to the units place of the question uh, uh, rods as well as the answer rod we have the number 408 in front of us okay we have the number 408 so we can subtract 5 times 68 that is 340 from this so i'll have to take 5 on the answer rod here so I've taken 5 on the answer rod here, then sub I'll subtract 340 from this 408. So 300 and for subtracting 4 on this rod, I'll do plus 6 minus 10. And finally, we have the number 68 remaining on the question set. So 1 times 68 can be done from subtracted from this. So I'll add 1 on this answer rod here and then subtract this 68 and our question set is over. We have nothing remaining here now. So the final answer that we have for 6528 divided by 68 is 96.
okay it is a perfectly exactly divisible number we have no remainder no decimal answer in this case okay now let's move to the next example it's a five digit number divided by a two digit number as usual we'll start with two times of the divisor and five times of the divisor calculating them beforehand so two times of 98 is 196 so i'll write down 196 here and 5 times 98 is 490 okay, i have written both the 2 times and 5 times numbers below the main divisor now i will start with taking the question set on the particular rod so this being the units place since this is a 5 digit number i will have to start from here okay so 57134 so 57134 okay now, we'll as usual, we'll start with the first two digit number that we have on the question set. This is 57. It is smaller than our divisor. So hence, we cannot do anything on this rod. We'll move one rod further. And the number that we have now is 571. From this 571, this is on the hundreds place of the question set. So our answer will start on the hundreds place of the answer set. Okay. So here. So from this 571, we can subtract 5 times 98, which is 490. So I'll have to take 5 on the answer set. I'll take 5 on the answer set here. And then I'll subtract 490 from this question set. So 490 subtraction will be done like this. Plus 1 minus 5 here. For subtracting 9 on this rod, I'll do plus 1 minus 10 and 0 on this rod. So nothing to be done here. Now we are remaining with 81 on this rod, which is smaller than our divisor. As and when we find a number smaller than our divisor, we move to the next rod. So moving to the next rod for both the question as well as the answer set. Now we have the number 813 on the question set. For From 813, we can subtract 5 times 98 for sure. So I'll take 5 on the answer set of this uh, rod, on this second rod. So 5 times are taken and then I'll subtract 490 from this question set. So subtracting 4 here, I'll do plus 1 minus 5. So subtracting 9, I will do plus 1 minus 10 and 0. That is nothing to be done on this rod. We still have the number 323 on this question set on this particular rod. On the same rod, we are not moving ahead further until we find a number smaller than our divisor. Okay, so this is 323. We can subtract 2 times 98. That is 196 from this. So I'll have to add 2 on the answer set of this rod on this rod so two times are added and then subtract 196 here so i'll subtract one here for subtracting nine here i'll do plus one minus ten and for subtracting six here i will have to do plus four minus ten so i'll do plus four minus ten we still have a number 127 on the same rod so we can still subtract one times 98 that is 98 itself from this so we'll add one on this answer set here one and then subtract 98 from this 127 so for subtracting 98 i'll do plus 1 minus 10 on this rod and on this rod i'll have to do plus 2 minus 10 okay now the number remaining on this rod is 29 which is smaller than our divisor so we'll move to the next rod so the next uh, the number that we have on the units place of the question set here is 294 from this 294 we can subtract 2 times 98 very easily so i'll add 2 on the units place of the answer set adding 2 here and then subtract 196 from this number so 190 and for 6 i'll do plus 4 minus 10 okay now we have the number remaining which is 98 which is exactly one time the divisor itself so I'll add 1 on the answer set here and then subtract 98 from this rod and our question set is over. Nothing is remaining here now. So the final answer that we have which is an exact integer answer is 583. The question was 57134 divided by 98 and the answer that we got is 593. Oh, sorry 583. Okay I'm very sorry. The answer is 583. I hope I was able to explain this uh, two examples uh, properly and everybody has understood it. In case of any doubts or difficulties of, or would you, if you like to see more examples being solved, please uh, write them down in the comment section.
okay i'll be glad to help you out with this thank you